What's the matter? What's the matter? That bubble-nosed piano player of mine, that's what's the matter. Benny? Yeah, Benny. I asked him to be here at 11 o'clock. Look, it's after 2. Still not here. Well, did you phone him? Phone him. His phone's off the hook. He doesn't let anything disturb his beauty rest. How do you like that guy? Once in 15 years, I ask him to get up in the morning, and this is what he does to me. Oh, well, honey, you know Benny. He never gets out of bed until the afternoon. Maybe he got lost. After all, he's not used to the bright sunlight. <laughs> Hello. Anybody up? Anybody but you. Where have you been? My, but you look lovely, my dear. Oh, Ben. <laughs> well, let's cut out the charm bit, huh? Where were you? Please, Master, I tried. Believe me, I tried. I set the alarm for 10 a.m. It went off and a terrible thing happened. What? I woke up. <laughs> so? It was so ghastly. The only thing to do was sleep it off. <laughs> terrible once you get used to it. When I was a nurse, I used to get up before sunrise. You mean the sun rises? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good heavens, so that's how it gets up there. This is gonna be a great rehearsal. The pixie is six feet off the ground. Put a little lead in your shoes and come down, Now, will you? don't you pick on my pixie. I think he's sweet. <laughs> if that doesn't make it grow, nothing will. <laughs> Shall we dance? Yes, master. Now sit down and let's get to work, huh? And for the next two weeks, I want you here at 10 o'clock in the morning. Couldn't you start out a few minutes later? Like four o'clock? <laughs> 10 o'clock. Three? 10. Two? 10. Bingo! Oh, cut it out! <laughs> Come on, sit down and stop fooling around. Now, what's this new number you want? You say is so good for me. What is oh, it? Oh, it's a gas. It'll be great for you. Just what you need in your act. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. As you say, sire. <laughs> a picture me upon your knee With two, two, two for tea And tea, tea, tea for two Just you for me and me alone, alone Every letter for you from Milwaukee. Well, holy Toledo. Benny, you'll never guess in a million years who this letter's from. Who? Otto Nielsen. Beer Garden Otto. Big Otto, remember? Oh, Umpa Otto. Otto Flatos, good for cheer. Oh, the name of the beer, sour, and gloom. Come with me to the station house. This must be the place. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was old Otto, all right. Oh, boy, is this only a page out of the past. Old Otto Nielsen. Now, who is Otto Nielsen? Just about one of the nicest guys that ever drew breath, honey. You know, if there's anybody in this business that I really owe a debt of gratitude, it's Otto Nielsen. He not only helped me get started, he actually bought me my first tuxedo. He must be quite a guy. Uh, well, read it. Yeah, let's hear what he has to say. You know, he had faith in me when nobody else had, including me. Dear Danny, my Shirley has been at the studio club in New York for three weeks. His kid's in town. I gave her your phone number. She is a fine singer, and I am counting on you to help her. But so far, I've heard nothing. I am very worried. Please tell me what is happening. Love, Otto. Honey, did she call you? No, darling, I, I haven't heard from her. How do you like that? His kid's in town for three weeks and she doesn't contact us. I can't understand that. Well, maybe she had a reason. I don't know what it is, but I'm certainly going to find out. I'll call the studio club. How about that? Otto's kid sings. You know what, Benny? There's a spot we could use her in a show. You know where we make that fast change? Right after the character. Yeah, maybe. why don't we put her in for a number there? That'd be fine. Oh, yeah. now, darling, you're not going to put that poor child into the copa. Honey, this is Otto Nielsen's daughter, and he's asked me to help her. I know, honey, but sight unseen. Maybe she isn't any good. If Otto says she's good, she's good. Now, he knows talent. After all, he discovered me. That's right. <laughs> but call her anyway. Anybody can make one mistake. <laughs> enough trouble with the with the waiters, the busboys, the bartenders without you throwing somebody into my show with only 24 hours notice. Oh, correction, four hours notice. She opens tonight. 
I, tonight? Tonight. <laughs> Rusty, will you get me a little more water, please? Another pill? I just took one. I know, I need another one. Hey, why don't you stop worrying, huh? Yeah, if Otto Neeson says the girl is great, that's good enough for us. Right, Daddy? Right, we're willing to take a chance. Oh, <laughs> with my club and my money, thanks a heap. It's all right, you don't have to lick our boots. Right. Here you are, Mr. Hopper. Thank you. Boy, I never saw so many different colored pills in my life. There's red, blue, and green. Gee, you must look real pretty inside. <laughs> Why don't you leave Uncle Charlie alone? Go, go up and do your homework, huh? Do we have to? Look who's talking. If I sign another bad report card for you, you're gonna be in trouble. How do report cards get into this conversation? Never mind, get going, get going, get out of here. Listen, Danny, let me tell you something. If this girl hasn't got it, I'm gonna get going too. Oh, why don't you cut it out, Charlie? Why, it'll be like a breath of fresh air to have this girl sing in your club. Just think, it'll make your saloon a better place for children to grow up in. That's right. <laughs> I'm running a nightclub, not a day school. <laughs> Listen, Danny, just because her father bought your tuxedo doesn't mean I gotta run an amateur show at my club. What amateur show? You wanna know something? You're getting the best of this thing. Hmm? My all of Broadway will be talking about you. They'll be saying, what about that Charlie Halper? What a showman he is. What a noggin. This fella brings into the copa a girl, a sweet, charming, apple-cheeked girl from the country to sing melodious, lovely apple songs. Apple-cheeked, apple -cheek, wholesome from the country. Yeah, maybe that's an idea. Sure. <laughs> that's her. Listen now, no hip talk, you no, understand? No, no. This is a kid, I mean, just a simple little girl from the country. Yeah. No, you let her in. Crazy Pad, you got yourself dead? A country girl? <laughs> From what country? Uh, uh, but I, 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 you're not Shirley. Uh-huh, and you're Danny Williams. Imagine meeting you after all these years, crazy like I mean kooky man. <laughs> <laughs> and I could really kiss you for putting me in your show at the Copa. I'm gonna sing up a gang of goodies for you. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I bet you don't remember this fella. He, he knew you when you were about that, that tall. I know who you are. You're Benny, Danny's mate at the 88. <laughs> Papa's told me all about you. Crazy like I mean, solid man. <laughs> Scamparelli, apple jelly, malacaroni. Oh, oh, oh. You're a winded man. Hey, uh, 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 this is, uh, this is Mr. Halper, dear. He owns the club you're gonna work in. Yeah, well, I gotta go. Wait a minute. Yeah. Don't cut out so soon, man. Yeah, don't cut out. I mean, uh, sit down. Sit down. Don't you wanna hear the girl you're gonna hire? Uh, you got your mu- Oh, that's fine. Uh, Benny, here, uh, play your music. Now, let's hear what you can do, dear. Well, uh, uh, like you, 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 like you want me to sing right now, like? Well, like, I think it'd be a good idea, like. I mean, uh, like, uh, we may as well hit the boss while he's here, right, Charlie? Yeah, you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, shoot me. All right. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and sing. Hit me with a two-bar intro. <laughs>
are you going? I, I, I gotta go. I got an appointment. With whom? Uh, um, I'll think of somebody. <laughs> Nice, nice. Well, he didn't think so, did he? Charlie? Oh, sure. He, he liked you. He's, uh, oh. yeah. He walked out pretty abruptly. Well, uh, 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 well, well, he always does that during an audition, especially if he likes somebody when they're auditioning. He walks right out all the time. Is that right, Benny? That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, oh swell. I, I feel much better now. Well, fine, fine, fine. Uh, 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 how's your father, dear? Oh, he's, he's great. He's solid, man. Solid, yes. Well, that's fine. I tell you, I have a great regard for your dad. I, he's a real pal of mine, and, uh, and I certainly want to do everything I can for you because of him. And, but you see, dear, the Copa, the Copa is a very, well, it's a class spot. I mean, it's to, it's to the nightclub circuit what, what the old palace was to vaudeville. It's the top. And, well, a newcomer, I mean, well, a, a newcomer doesn't start at the top, you know. Oh, sure. That's what Papa said when I called him and told him you were putting me in the show. Oh, you, you called your father? Oh, sure I did. And you should have heard the wonderful things he said about you. Huh? He said you're a wonderful friend. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, he said the right thing. I, we're certainly friends. Uh... Uh... Look, kid, why, why don't you run on and get some rest now if you're going to go on tonight, you know? <laughs> like, man, I don't need any rest. I'm sailing. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Emil. See you tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You mean you're really going to put her on? You heard what she said. She called Otto. What am I going to do? What a price to pay for a tuxedo. <laughs> Danny, Danny, for the last time, don't let that girl go on. I beg you on bended ulcer. <laughs> don't let her sing. I, I can't take any more pills. I'm getting lumpy. <laughs> I'm on a spot. I gotta put her on. Don't you understand? She called her father and told him I was putting her in the show. I've told you what Otto Nielsen means to me. Mm -hmm. This is an old buddy who helped me. What am I gonna do? Break his heart? I gotta put her on, don't you see? Oh, sure, I see. A sentimental comedian I had to hire. <laughs> a SEAL act I should have. A SEAL doesn't try to put friends in the show. They just, they just bounce the ball, grab a few fish, and run. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm not gonna beg you anymore. All right, forget it. I am not going to ask you. Forget it. I will just leave it to you. Leave it to your own heart. Well, when you, when you put it that way, what, what can I do? Okay, but if one, one customer walks out while this dame is singing, I'm gonna deduct it from your salary. I don't know, I get such a soft heart. Surprise! What are you doing in New York? Well, you think that I can sit up in Milwaukee when my Shirley is having a debut in New York? Well, I certainly didn't expect you. Otto, so sit down, sit down. Well, thank you, thank you. How's, how's everything in the beer garden business? Jimmy, uh, who was that man there? Oh, oh that's uh, the Charlie Helper. He owns the place here. Well, uh, what did he mean about uh, the customers walking out when that dame was singing? Uh, oh. uh, what dame was he talking about? Oh, I don't know. So, some some dame in the show. Uh, I don't know. Uh, not my Shirley. Oh, of course not. Uh, no, no. When, when my Shirley sings, nobody walks out. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, it has been the, the greatest night for me to, to know that my Shirley is going to sing in a fine club a fine audience, and there'll be a lot of applause, and, and uh, oh... I, Danny, it's the happiest day of my life. I'm, I'm glad, Otto. I'm glad, but you know, I mean, you're an old timer. You know this better than I do. Uh, yeah. Nightclub audiences can be mm, tough, you know, yeah, yeah. If, if you don't catch them just right. Oh, but, 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 but my Shirley, she's going to catch them right. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, but, you know, she's a newcomer. And after all, a newcomer, you know, sometimes needs oh. a... Need, well, she's got to break in, you know. Well, but she's ready. And, oh. and you, Danny, you are a good friend. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. you bet, Otto. You bet I'm your good friend. And that's why I just can't do it to you, Otto. Hey, do, do what to me? Look, you know what I think about you. Now, I want you to understand this. Otto, I can't let her go on tonight. What? Otto, listen to me. I, I know, I know this will hurt you if she doesn't go on, but believe me, if I let her go on, it'll hurt you more. Danny Williams, are you trying to tell me that my Shirley has no talent? I'm sorry, buddy, but that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. I just don't think she's got uh, it. You think? What do you know? Who are you telling me what is talent and not talent? I know you know talent. You're a great talent picker, but you can't be objective in this case. This is your own daughter. Believe me, I've heard her. She hasn't got it. You gotta face it. I am facing it. You are not my friend. Oh, now, how can you say a thing like that? Let Hi, me explain, Daddy. Otto. Hi, Ginger lent me this dress. Isn't it crazy? Oh, Papa, what are you doing here? Shirley? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> what is this? Hmm? What's my girl doing in, in that dress and with that hair and with goop all over her face? What have you done to my Shirley? What do you mean, what have I done? This is the way she was when I first saw her, with the hair, with the goop, with everything. This is the way they dress on Broadway. You're behind the times. You've got to give people what they expect. That's what Ginger says. Ginger? Who is Ginger? She's my roommate at the studio club, and she knows all about Broadway. She taught me how to talk and, and how to sell a song. We worked on the act for three weeks. Hmm. Well, you think that is my Shirley? The only Shirley I met? <laughs> well, it is not my Shirley. I will show you my Shirley. Hmm? Come. Papa, what are you going to do? Come here! <laughs> you say you are my friend? You know I'm your friend. Well, then give me a towel and some soap, and where's the washroom? Right in there. Uh, <laughs> Well, this is better now. Yeah. Huh? Now she looks more like Otto Nielsen's daughter. Well, and now she's also ready to sing. Oh? Uh, Bennett, uh, play for her, will you? Stop! <laughs> what sort of noise is that? Please, you're talking about her music. It's crazy. Crazy? It's insane. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'll play for her. The things I used to like, I don't like anymore. I want a lot of other things I've never had before. It's just like Papa says. I sit around and mope, pretending I am wonderful. And knowing I'm a dope I'm as restless as a willow in a windstorm I'm as jumpy as a puppet on a string I'd say that I had spring fever But I know spring I am starry-eyed and vaguely discontented like a nightingale without a song to sing oh why should I have spring fever when it isn't even spring I keep wishing I was somewhere else 
walking down a strange new street, hearing words that I have never heard from a man I've yet to meet. I'm as busy as a spider spinning daydreams. I'm as giddy as a baby on a swing. I haven't seen a crocus or a rosebud or a robin on the wing, but I feel so gay in a melancholy way that it might as well be spring. It might. in my heart, huh? Oh, good, good. Of love I've often heard And all its joy How every heart is stirred Both girl and boy But the love alone Is tender bliss My lips have never you were getting ready for bed. Oh, well, we want Miss Nielsen's autograph. Oh, well, I'm flattered. I'm not a star Oh, yet. you're going to give me any of those now. Don't worry about being a star now. You will be soon. How about that? The kids have an ear for talent, too, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh, oh Daddy. Yeah. Oh, surely that's one. Daddy, Just okay. nice. Daddy, while I'm at it, I'd like your autograph, too. You want my autograph? Don't be silly. Well, a lady I know wants it. Oh. Otto, it's good to hear you sing again. Uh, just, nice just and... great, Otto. Brought back old times, really. Uh, yes. Here you are, you have, Harry. Yes, Daddy. yes, and I'm so glad. Yes, dear. We autograph my report card too. <laughs> 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 